Hi, I'm Daniel O'Connor. I'm from Warpeth. We're talking about how organisations can save money by redistributing resources effectively and efficiently. Hi, good morning everyone. Um, my name is Julie Parkinson. Uh, it says on there I'm project lead of Warpeth, but my actual role is in commercial and procurement. So I'm actually a category specialist for social care, so nothing to do with environmental or anything like that. But I had a real big interest in Warpeth, and the next slide will sort of go into the details of how I became involved on a sustainable level. Right, it was back in, in June last year that um, I was a member of the Sustainable Procurement Group, and there was a few different articles in um, the press about Daniel and about Warpeth, and it was really strange because a, a colleague from Environment and myself both saw these articles about the same time. And we arrived at the Sustainable Procurement Group and, you know, talking about it, looking at the articles, and we decided from that point to invite Daniel in to the council to have a chat to us. Um, instantly, we were, like, so impressed, and we thought, it's a no-brainer, you know, we've got to go for this. Um, but to be honest, it took from June last year until February this year to actually roll it out. And although everybody was keen and I was going around begging from budgets, and it's not much money, but it was just... It was a case of, well, we've got no resources, who's going to roll it out, who's going to do the project, and, you know, where's the funding going to come from? And everybody thought it was a great idea. It was just nobody wanted to be responsible. At one point, I think I decided I'll just pay for it myself, you know. <laughs> but um, I was so keen I wasn't going to let it go, so I thought, well, I'm going to try and roll it out myself and um, managed to beg my manager in procurement to try and look at it from a procurement perspective and say, well, look, if we can stop the purchasing, save the council money, you know, that's got to be a good thing as well as all the sustainable advantages as well. So he said, right, if you can go away and do a business case, go away and prove it and um, we'll take it from there. So I just looked at some data between April and June and I was absolutely horrified to see that over those months we'd spent 55000 on furniture alone. And I showed that to my manager and he said, no, it's not right. And we couldn't believe it, you know, we were spending that much. So as part of the business case, as I was developing it, we looked at some of the main issues around implementation. And of course, Northumberland spread from Berwick, Annick. It's so rural. We thought, well, there's going to be a problem with transport. We don't want staff running around with the, with the cars, picking up chairs and trying to get desks in the back of cars. How are we going to manage it? Um, so we brought in several social enterprises who do a lot of the transport for Northumberland. And we had discussions around who would be best and who would be wanting to be part of the project. Um, we managed to um, get a, a social enterprise called Revive on board. And they are so keen, you know, they, they wanted to be part of the project for the whole of Northumberland doing the transport. And that works really well for us because it means we're being more um, engaging with the local economy and supporting the third sector and the very fact that we're managing the transport for now we're, we're supporting how the staff are arranging the transport so we do, don't have different removal vans going from one state to another and um, so we're doing a lot of the coordination for that so yeah so in february 13th of february this year we rolled out the water project we breathed a sigh of relief at last <laughs> the benefits are the obvious benefits that um sort of Daniel's gone through about the waste disposal. Um, the main one for us in procurement is the fact that, you know, it avoids costs of purchasing for new resources. Um, and we've also engaged in a lot of um, officers from across the authority on environmental and facilities. So we've managed to streamline a lot of what we do. So our processes for waste management um, they weren't exactly brilliant. You know, you'd walk around a building, you'd see desks and chairs stuffed under stairwells, you know, fire safety risk. And so we're working together to try and, you know, rectify all these issues. And it's just something that was rumbling on for years and years and nobody ever did anything about it. So we're managing to put all this in a process and using Warpit to manage our disposal of unwanted items. Of course, there's the social benefits as well for the third sector. Um, a part of what we've been doing is the rollout is we've been going to a lot of third sector events, trying to encourage them to sign up to it and you know say it's free um, you set up an office why not have some of our furniture have a look on morbid see what we've got um, 
we were at an event yesterday and uh, they were absolutely over the moon, they, were, they couldn't believe it. You know, they're saying, oh great, I'm just about to set up my office. So we're just going out there and trying to sell it to um, third sector organisations. Again, the benefits continuing on there. Um, the fact that we're working very closely with the social enterprise for the transport needs. Um, we're actually trying to encourage the uh, social enterprise to look into refurbishing some of the furniture as well. But that's at another stage that Daniel, um, sorry, Gordon will talk about. Um, carbon reduction. We're using, we're trying to embed that within our the county council's carbon management plan. So although I'm not the expert on that, I'm engaging with a lot of the colleagues in environment. So they're managing to build up all the, the performance indicators that we're using into the plan. So how does it work for Northumberland? Right, well we've got a main web page for all staff um, in Northumberland. And on this page we'll have the website for Walk It. Um, as Sam has already said, we've got Priority 1 and Priority 2. So Priority 1 is for internal, for staff only. So if they want to dispose of any items, it'll go around your Priority 1. Nobody within Northumberland, any of the estates, wants any of the items. It then gets advertised out to Priority 2. And that's sort of external, our Warped Club members. So a lot of our third sector organisations who have signed up will then get the opportunity at that point. Um, what we've got on our, our Warpit page, we've, as well as you know the how-to documents and step-by-step -step guides, we've got an e-form so that if any members of staff across Northumberland, you might have somebody in an office in Annick, and they've seen a desk that they like at County Hall in Morpeth, they want to know how to get it from A to B. And we, tell, we say to them that we're using a social enterprise for the transport. So what we say is fill in the e-form, tell us what you want, when you want it, identify the reference number on Warpit and we'll arrange the transport. And this just ensures that the social enterprise are using their set days for travelling around so they're optimising, doing the route optimisation and they're not all over Northumberland every other day. So at the minute we're managing and coordinating all those transport needs. Um, we've got arrangements as well with our, our waste <coughs> management team. We've got a storage area, which is the old um, fire station across the road from County Hall, that we're using to store a lot of our, our items of furniture. Some of them are set in one section of the building, which are you know, to be moved on because they're in good condition, fit for purpose. But then we've got another part of the building, which are for damaged items, which really just need to be disposed of. So we've got an arrangement in place where our internal management, waste management team come certain days of the week when necessary to remove those items and as I've already mentioned um, Revive are, are hoping to sort of develop their business a bit further and to be able to refurbish some of the um, furniture items. Similar to Sunderland what we do as well we put a stop on purchasing. At the minute it's just for furniture items because we were so shocked at the amount we were spending so we put a total stop through our, our finance system. Um, if staff sort of are really insistent that you know they can't find what they want on Warpit, they really need this, then it actually gets logged with their manager as to the reasons why they're insistent. You know, it's fair enough if the specialist chair because they've got a bad back, you know, that's fine, we'll go ahead with the order. But we're really interrogating the reasons behind why they want to insist and pursue with an order. To date, the results are there. I mean, it's, it's just fantastic. Like I keep saying to, to Daniel, it's a no-brainer. Um, the main thing that we look at in procurement, obviously, is the, the spend that we've saved, you know, 41991 you know, in a matter of such a small space of time. We've got, I think we've got, well, about 144 staff registered, um, including st schools, but we're, we're trying to work with the communications and trying to build that up. We're planning workshops and it's not sort of just a one-off implementation but continuously working with the communications on it. Um, we've even got um, in the County Hall restaurant we've got a, a TV that runs a video link so there's a continuous role of, of how Warpit works and to encourage staff to do that. 
as you walk through the building, through the corridors, we've got posters on the walls. Um, we're just trying to keep up the engagement all the time. The Warpit Club that we've got with third sector organisations and other authorities such as Sunderland, we've got, um, we've put in 22 requests and we've got, I think 10 of these are still pending, so we're just waiting for responses for people to accept us as a friend. But it's still early days and we're hoping to sort of progress it and, and make it a lot bigger and better.